Chaser Report is recorded on Gadigal land. Striving for mediocrity in a world of excellence, this is The Chaser Report. Hello and welcome to The Chaser Report for Tuesday the 20th of September. I'm Charles Firth, broadcasting live from Los Angeles International Airport. Are you being detained? (laughs) (laughs) Uh, No comment. Um, My my lawyers say that actually it's better that I... I don't answer any of those <laughs> questions, um, and and that whole you know like the whole suggestion that I'm a mule is like <laughs> oh, yeah. that is that's not true at all, and and I think and I've told my whole party to deny doing a mule. You know that <laughs> anyway. Um, with me today are Alexa Vulovich. Now, Hello. Alexa, you've been you've been a stranger to us for the last few weeks. Yeah, yeah. Um, well, I mean, I heard what you... was going down with you in LA, and I thought best to not get my fingerprints <laughs> on that on that train wreck. Um, <laughs> and and Lachlan Lachlan Hodson, our producer, is also here today. Hi, I'm a mule, and I'm not scared to admit it. <laughs> I like a, I like a patsy, Lachlan. That's that's what you're paid to be. Now, but Alexa, you've been a stranger to us because you've been training boxing. Or something have you yeah 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 Wh- um why it's a, why mm. it's a it's a big money-making scheme i think um a lot of people out there want to watch their favorite youtubers get punched in the head and <laughs> yes, i thought yes, I, I could cash in on this i could i yes. could get punched in the head this is one of my most marketable skills did you just realize that you don't have enough brain damage is that it you're too smart now you just want to <laughs> yeah, bring yourself yeah. down to the layman's level <laughs> i i've been i've been accused of um i don't know my the way i talk is a bit too elitist so i thought if i get punched <laughs> in the head i can appeal more to the uh, average australian uh, <laughs> yeah you will actually you'll actually succeed you'll become mainstream you'll get a gig on triple m a bit um <laughs> Correct. what i see in the background of your zoom is there's a hot there's a chess board what's going on there why are you, oh yeah. yeah so it's i'm 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 not competing in pure boxing it's uh it's a bit of a gimmick it's chess boxing so you have like one round of chess, one round of boxing, one round of chess, one round of boxing. And how how do you train for that? I, I have no idea. I um, play a lot of chess, <laughs> play a lot of boxing, uh, do both of those simultaneously pretty much. Um, and do you find that like boxing degrades your ability to play chess? Like is, <laughs> is, is, I presume that's the theory behind it. I mean, look, that's my theory as well. But the issue is I'm already so bad at chess that I just... It's its hard to tell whether it's being degraded or not because <laughs> you can't really go below a beginner. Yeah. Um, yeah. You know how there's always that story in the news where it's like, oh, this four-year-old beat the world's mm. best chess grandmaster. <laughs> Wouldn't it be amazing if Alexa was actually competing against that oh, four-year-old? Yes, yes. I would, <laughs> love, I would pay good money to see you beat up a four-year-old. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm just, I'm just terrified because the guy I'm fighting is like 10 kilograms heavier than me. I would fight a four-year-old any day of the week instead of that guy. <laughs> I'm putting it out there to the organisers. Four-year-olds make good drug mules. Just, uh, just mm. reminded herself. Uh, yeah. Actually, uh, Charles, anyway, sorry, now, while you're um, in the airport, Charles, can I ask you a question? <laughs> oh, can I make? Can yeah, I yeah. get you to play a game with Alexa and I? Oh, oh yeah, yeah. So, uh, do you guys... You probably were in high school a bit earlier than I was. You probably never heard of the game Penis. Oh yeah. You know the game Penis. Oh yeah. My son. My son game. plays Penis. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So <laughs> son's about your age. A, a listener who might not know, you know, you <laughs> play Penis by whoever says the yeah. word Penis loudest wins. Um, but there's a, a version of this game yes. you can play in an airport, oh, yeah, Charles. Yeah. Uh, it's called Bomb. <laughs> oh, no. So, um, like, I, I'll start. Uh, <laughs> bomb, Alexa. <laughs> bomb. Okay, Charles, f- oh, yeah. off you go. Bomb. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I think we need to talk about the Queen some more. Yeah, yeah. I think mm. that we should talk about the Queen. And I think uh, one of the best things we should do is tread lightly around the topic of how people are mourning. Because that's not going to uh, oh. get us cancelled at all. <laughs> how, like, I haven't been in Australia. How is the mourning going? It's amazing. Like, the, sh- the sheer vibe uh, at the clubs and at all the pubs that I've been to, yes. it's unlike anything Sad. I've ever been to. Yep. Sad? Yep. No, yes. no, 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 Charles. Oh, no. I'm living. I'm a Gen Z kid. We all hate the monarchy. We all want to eat the rich. All we're yes. doing is oh, celebrating yes. the death of... Uh, what is essentially just a representation of all of the elitism that uh, we've been 
trained to, to succumb to. Well, I don't really buy that, Lachlan. I thought Jen oh, really? said we're all depressed. I thought you guys would be crying in clubs anyway, like regardless of if the Queen was dead mm. or not. <laughs> I, no, I just don't buy the you guys It's brought fun. us up. It's united us together. We're actually uh, quite quite excited. Um, however, apparently not everyone's a Gen Z uh, kid in Australia. So no, this sadness... Sorry, can mm-hmm. I completely retract everything I've said for the last minute because I don't think it's going to go down well. Um, <laughs> oh, right. Yeah, we don't want to get cancelled for being anti the elite. Monarchy? <laughs> like that, that, would be, that would be so controversial. The, the Queen may be dead, but capitalising on the Queen's death is not dead. Uh, yes. So one, one of my favourite yes. things that, that I've been able to experience in this time is watching how different companies have responded to the, the Queen's death. Oh, and I've no. got to say... It is amazing. So, so while you know, maybe yes. a lot of Australians have, have different uh, perspectives on this. One Australian bastion is clearly upset. Maccas. Has anyone, uh, Alexa? Have you seen a Maccas lately? Have you noticed uh, what they've done to their um, flags? No, I, I haven't. I have not seen. I've, I've never heard them talk about the Queen in my life. Yeah, well, Macca's flags are half mast across the country at the moment <laughs> <laughs> to pay respect to the Queen's death. Damn. No, um, that is great. It, I'm, I'm being <laughs> legit. I was at an IKEA the other week, uh, and, and I noticed that their flags weren't half mast. <laughs> so mm. I, so I spoke Wait, don't, to yeah. I mean, the look, manager. Don't, don't the Swedish already have their own royal family? I mean, no, I yeah. I, I if if they do, they it should might, be it might actually time. it might be treasonous to. to well, I, I spoke to, to the local IKEA and asked them to have their flags at half mast, and they did. What? <laughs> Wait, IKEA? What? <laughs> they put their flags, IKEA, I, the local IKEA to to where I live. Put their flags at half mast. At you monarchy request. shamed, I care. <laughs> I oh my god! I said, look, goodness. I just don't think that this you're is very genius. respectful. Because this is the thing: you can just tell people that you're sad, yes. and no one's yes. really got the balls to, yes. to pull you up on you know, it. You know, yeah. you fucked up so many people's day. You can have all these <laughs> Swedish people being like, "Carl Gustav the Sixth is dead." <laughs> like, fuck! What, what's, what's happening? <laughs> Uh, um, uh, the, the other big thing that's happened in Australia, uh, of course, is we've got a public holiday uh, on Thursday, the 22nd, um, because in, in Australia, mm. if we're consistent on anything, it's how easy it is to change the date to celebrate a colonial oh, yeah. history. Um, <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I've got to be real, though. The, the real mourning I- I is happening in Europe. Now, uh, in, in Europe, oh, yeah. anything you want to get off, you can just claim that you're mourning and it's patriotic. It's absolutely fantastic. Yeah, right. um, tons of stuff across the country has closed down in England. Um, uh, for instance, the British Meteorology Office has stopped predicting yes. the weather as a sign of yes. respect. <laughs> that is very respectful. Uh, a sex toy company <laughs> yeah. named Ann because Summers is having a flash <laughs> sale on all of their <laughs> dildos. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Um, uh, also, food banks. Food banks across England have shut down uh, yes, in preparation yes. for the funeral because screw the poor. <laughs> well, that's what the Queen would That's the, the queen would have wanted. No, precisely. So, for the peasants to go hungry. So I think that's very <laughs> appropriate. The Chaser Report. News you know you can't trust. But uh, you, know, you know here in America, mm. all, the, all the flags are half-mast year. And I thought somebody else must what? have died, like Barack Obama or something. But no, apparently it's the Queen. Like, just really? every single flag in America is at half mast. That's moment. actually really? that's really, really fascinating. Bizarre. Because one of the the um, touching tributes that I saw online to the Queen's death uh, mm. were from Broadway. Two of them were from Broadway that I really liked. Um, it, it was the musicals mm. Hamilton and Les Misérables. Both put out uh, quite touching statements of, of grief. Uh, mm. The death of the Queen. Wait, Hamilton. Can you remind Isn't me what those musicals of- are about again? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> what? Oh my god. Yeah, because Les Miserables is about the peasants overthrowing, uh, you know, well, taking to the streets and trying to overthrow the monarchy. Yep. <laughs> and Hamilton's about America overthrowing. And what did they say? Hopefully it was, was it ironic? No, 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 no. Was not ironic sarcastic? at all. Just totally like, oh, our, our hearts go out to the royal family uh, and the um, British uh. Commonwealth at the moment in this. 
Uh, trialing time. It's like how, you know, in um, Pride Month, how all the companies changed their banner to be rainbow? Yeah. So it was like that, yes. but you, you put a, uh, a, your banner in black and white in solidarity. Okay. Um, one of the yeah. best ones, uh, so there was Nintendo UK did it, Bagel Bites UK did it, Heinz UK, a whole bunch of food companies, really. Uh, Domino's UK also tweeted out a statement saying that their stores will be closed uh, the day that the, the Queen had died. Um, because, you know, they're mourning. Uh, what was interesting was that tweet got retweeted by Domino's Ireland, oh, who yeah. tweeted the words, <laughs> not us, though, <laughs> <laughs> which, which gets it. My favourite part of the entire Queen's death is not what happened in Australia. Mm. It's not what happened in America. It's not what happened in England. It's the response mm. from Ireland. Wait, what's, what's, yes. What's wrong with the Irish? Why are they Why are they so mean about this whole thing? Well, because the whites of British <laughs> took them over. What do you mean? They're the worst people in the world. They created the Irish famine. Like, so you, you know the, how about the Irish like they famine? They killed millions Alexa? of people. The Irish famine wasn't actually a famine. What? The Irish yeah. famine was a genocide. Yes. No, 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 no. No, I get that. But I yeah. mean, from my understanding, a lot of these Irish cities were like, Super overpopulated anyway. I thought the Brit British were like kind of <laughs> just making making life a bit easier. Hey, so we've Alex, got Alexa here, who's not a royalist. No, well, no, yeah. so what, no I mean, you just got to. Should just we got have a tasteful conversation about Slobodan Milosevic, maybe as well, <laughs> while you're at it? <laughs> no, no, this, this, is, I mean, this, is, this is nothing to do with um, my ethnic penchant for den genocide. I think it's actually, um, I think it's just, uh, you just got to look at the other side of the story. I mean, look. I personally yeah, think I would have had a had a great time in Ireland um, after after <sighs> Oliver Cromwell came through, right? Because I think that place would have been a bachelor's paradise. <laughs> like all the men are all the men are gone. Um, all the men are gone. Have, like, yeah. I just I just think the Irish are making making a bit too much out of this this issue. You know. Okay. Well, if if you think that uh, the Karens got mad at us for our response. The Karens would <laughs> die over what was happening in Ireland. Um, while the English were mourning, the Irish took this time to celebrate. And I have never felt... I'm like one-eighth Irish. I have never felt my heritage more than when I saw what <laughs> Irish people were doing. Right off the gate, when the Queen was announced to be in hospital, a group of Irish tap mm. dancers immediately tap danced out the front of Buckingham Palace to the song... Nice. Another one bites the dust by Queen. Oh, that's good. Awesome. Um, that's good. But uh, yes. because of this sort of reaction from from Ireland, the tensions between England uh, and Ireland have never been higher. And so, to properly illustrate mm. this tension, I have a clip from an Ireland v England football match uh, that was the day after the Queen passed. Here's what happened when they announced the minute silence. Following the passing of Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II. Please now observe a minute of silence in her memory, which will start with an referee's whistle, followed by the national anthem. Quiet. Country's in a box! In a Shut the fuck up! <laughs> Right, so, so that was the minute silence. So the minute <laughs> silence, five seconds in, uh, a, a mm. fan of the Irish team took the, the moment to shout out the words, <laughs> Lizzie's in a box. <laughs> this had a chain reaction which caused the entire stadium to erupt into shouts of, oh, that's disgusting, <laughs> oh, you knew that would happen. And it's been absolutely amazing. What you just heard was the start of a chant that has since become a stand-in for the Irish National Anthem. National Anthem. Now, uh, unfortunately, it got cut Lizzie's off. Lizzie's in a box. Lizzie's in a box. It, unfortunately, it got cut <laughs> off rudely by the Brits just then, but I found a longer oh, clip yes. with the whole chant, and it goes a little like this. Oh, okay, great. Classic football chant, uh, the song Give It Up uh, by KC and the Sunshine Band. You replace it with your own words. Na, 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 na. You know, I find really, really mm. confronting about this whole thing is that I did not mm. realize like where the where the threshold for like edginess is. Like Lizzie's <laughs> in a box is just a objective statement. Like that is where <laughs> she is. Like there's, it's just, <laughs> yeah, it, it's, it's, it's kind of, it's just really confusing yeah. that like that we're so 
cucked by the monarchy that <laughs> this is like the big scary thing. Like you can't say she's <laughs> in a coffin. Like how dare you? <laughs> it is. It really does. It has that sort of North Korean tinge to it, doesn't it? Because oh, you know, yeah. you know, according to official North Korean narrative. Kim Il Sung mm. is still alive, Whoa. not the current president, but the, the last one, and that's exactly what this is. And they, you know, people keep on getting arrested in England for saying yeah, things yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Oh, "Andrew's uh, Prince Andrew's a creep." And you're going, mm. but he is a creep. But he is. <laughs> it's objective Never fact. Has a true statement been said? <laughs> or like holding a sign saying, "Not my king." Mm, I don't know. It's, mm. yeah, He's now it's getting, a, it's a bizarre. getting arrested. Yeah. Sorry, while we're committing a bit of, um, you know, what, what's the offence when you sort of. What is the actual technical Something magi- name? majesty. Yeah, les, majest- les majesty. Oh. I don't think we have those. Treason. Let's call it treason. Yeah. Don't you think that, you know, those clips of Prince Charles being a cock to his employees and things like that? Yeah. He's just, a, he's going to be a turd in mm. government, mm. isn't he? Like he, it, like, and the Charleses just have a history of being absolute fuckwits. So Charles the first <laughs> like got his head he chopped got, off. He got his head chopped off, yeah. Yeah. And I Charles think, the second think, was the cool one yeah. uh, from Horrible Histories. Yeah. Uh, yeah, who who then who then restored the monarchy. Mm. Great. Yeah. What, what a great <laughs> Yeah. Um, yeah. <laughs> what a great, great legacy, legacy he had. had. But, but Charles the third, like I, I'm calling it I reckon he's, he's gonna, gonna be, be lynched. lynched. I reckon <laughs> the, like he's He's going to be legal, the reason the whole saying? monarchy fails. Because the whole thing is, you know, like, the only reason that anyone supports the monarchy is a sort of residual fondness that actually um, this is this sort of warm, fuzzy thing that's harmless, right? Mm. As soon mm. as an actual cock gets into power and mm. probably starts throwing his weight around a bit and telling the prime minister what to do... It's just over. Like, like, <laughs> there's nothing left. There's no reason, you know. Le- like, his role was theorised away 200 years ago. He's mm. been, like, that entire family has just been surviving on the residual laziness of <laughs> the British people for the last 220 years. Well, Charles, it sounds like, like you're not the only one who hates the royal family here. Uh, and, and there's another one that, that I think you might like, which is uh, from a Celtics game that happened very recently. That's them chanting, if you hate the royal family, clap your hands for the entire minute silence at a Celtics match. <laughs> oh, no. That's great. That's, oh, I wish I was in England just I for these sorts England. of celebrations. I, I feel like a bit of an imbecile, though, laughing at this because this is this is not a crazy thing to say. Like, this is a joke <laughs> you would have shared with, like, Robespierre, like, fucking 400 years ago. Like, it's not... <laughs> It's, it's yeah, weird to be like, ha ha, we hate the monarchy. It's like, <laughs> it, it feels mm. it feels almost insulting to be put in the position where like we're being mischievous by saying that. That's mm. it's it's strange. Mm. But, sorry. <laughs> Can I just say you mentioned Robespierre because he was the person who brought in the Great Terror after yeah, I need one they of those. Off the king's hair. <laughs> Can I bags be the Robespierre? Because I reckon that'd be an awesome job. And you don't need any qualifications. And you right? don't need to wear pants around the office, which is <laughs> what you do anyway. So it's it's great. <laughs> it's a perfect job for me. <laughs> uh. Yeah, yeah. That is who they were, right? The Sans culottes. I hope I'm making a relevant reference. It's not that they didn't wear pants. They did, it's just they didn't wear the culottes on their pants. Oh, which right. Which frilly thing. Oh, okay. Oh, that makes sense. Yeah. So, wait, then why don't you wear pants, Charles? <laughs> um, look, my lawyer actually is advising me that I shouldn't answer that question either. <laughs> Our gear is from Ride with part of the ACAST Creator Network. We'll catch you tomorrow.